Unit 3, Finances, Section 3.9, Time Cards, Part 2. So in Part 2, we start looking into more things like overtime and more complicated situations about when you might get that overtime. Normal overtime happens if you get more than 40 hours in a week, but there are some jobs where you can get overtime if you work more than the required hours in a day. Or you might get overtime if you work on the weekend. We're going to work through some examples of that. Just as a reminder, time and a half is the same as multiplying your wage by 1.5. Double time is the same as multiplying it by 2. Our first example here, Val E. Dictorian worked the following hours last week. Find Val's gross wages She's paid time and a half for all the hours she worked over 40 during that week. Time and a half for hours over 40. Let's start this off by changing all of those hours from fractions over into decimals. If I add those all up, Val worked a total of 42.5 hours. Well, seeing as how Val works more than 40 hours, Val is going to earn some overtime. Let's start with her overtime rate of pay. She makes time and a half. So I'm going to take her rate of pay, which is $7.25 an hour. I'm going to multiply it by 1.5. Val's overtime rate is $10.88 an hour. Okay, let's start calculating what she's going to earn. I like breaking it into two parts. I'm going to do the regular time, and then I'm going to do the overtime. Okay, for her regular time, the first 40 hours are considered regular. And for regular time, she's paid $7.25 an hour. Multiply those together, and Val earns $290 for those 40 hours. Let's look at her overtime. She works a total of 42.5 hours, 40 hours regular, and 2.5 hours of overtime. Let's work that one out. 2.5 hours overtime times 10.88 an hour earns Val $27.19. To find Val's gross pay, we're going to add those two numbers together. Val's gross pay is $317.19. That's what she earns. Question two changes the rules a little bit. In this case, Val is paid time and a half for any hours over eight worked in a given day. So any day where she works more than eight hours, she gets overtime for those extra hours. So looking at it, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's no overtime there. But Thursday, she's earning overtime. Friday, a little bit overtime. And Saturday, more overtime. Let's break that down. I'm going to set this up as a chart. We're going to have regular time, and we're going to have overtime. I'll just put OT. And across the top, I'm going to put the days of the week. We've got Tuesday, Wednesday. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to split each of these days into the hours at a regular time, and hours that are overtime. And what's important is the first eight hours of every day are always regular time. But I can't just put an eight across the board there because she doesn't work eight hours all days. So on Tuesday, she works seven hours. Doesn't go past the eight, not o there is no overtime. So all of her hours in regular. Wednesday, same thing, 7.5 hours of regular time. Thursday is where she starts making the better money. Nine and three quarters hours, that's 9.75 hours. Well, the first eight are regular time and everything past that is overtime. So she earned 1.75 hours of overtime. Friday, she's over those eight hours again. So eight hours of regular time and everything else is overtime. So that's 8.25 hours for Friday. First eight hours are regular and the rest, or 0.25 hours, are overtime. And then Saturday, also over eight. So eight hours of regular time and the remaining two hours are overtime. Well, let's total those up. For regular hours, if I add those numbers up, Val put in 38.5 hours. And overtime, she put in four hours overtime. Now I'm going to figure out how much she earned in regular time. So her regular wage is 7.25, that's per hour. 38.5 hours times 7.25 per hour earns her $279.13. That's her regular time. Let's look at her overtime. She's got four hours overtime in. In the last question, we already figured out what her overtime rate was. That's 10.88. Four hours times 10.88. This time, Val earns $43.52 in overtime. Add those together and we get the gross pay. This time, Val earned $322.65. She earned a little bit more than last time because this time, the rules changed in how she earned overtime she actually ended up getting more overtime hours. And that's a reward for working those extra long days. Question three. So this time we're taking it a step further. She's still getting overtime on any hours that she works past 40. 
She's still making overtime on any hours that she works past eight hours, but she also gets double time when she works on a weekend. So I'm going to start off with that same chart we had last time, or at least most of it. There we've got our chart. I didn't put Saturday in this time because Saturday's paid at a completely different rate. We're going to deal with that one separately. Now we've got three categories. We've got regular time, we've got overtime during the week, and we've got overtime on the weekend. So let's start with these two. Let's find our rates that she's earning. Let's figure out what Val is working at each of these rates. So regular time, we're looking at 30.5 hours. She's paid $7.25 an hour. So it makes it a total of $221.13. Okay, overtime. During the week, she puts in two hours of overtime. And just like before, she's still making $10.88 an hour overtime. So for her during the week overtime, that multiplies out to give you $21.76. Now let's take a look at that overtime on the weekend. We need to start with our rate, which is double time. Double time is you times it by two, 7.25 times two. She's earning $14.50 an hour. All right, when I look at the chart, on Saturday, she works 10 hours. And she's earning double time for all of that. So she's earning $14.50 an hour. Multiply those out, and she earns $145 for that shift on Saturday. Let's end this off by finding her gross pay. When we add these three numbers together, we end up with a gross pay of $387.89. Val E. Dictorian earns $387.89. Time cards can be complicated. Lots of little nooks and crannies and things you have to take into account, things you have to calculate, things you have to keep straight. Very easy for an employee or an employer to get it wrong. So always, always double check your time cards.